the final hour is here. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, shut up and sit down. Saddle up. Get ready. Because the best fight in One Punch Man history is about to begin. Even better than Saitama versus Lord Boros. The fight that, when it was animated, blew up and people for years, to this day, have acknowledged that that fight is one of the best fights that they have ever seen. Not only in terms of anime, but also reading in the manga, it was absolutely stupendous. And that fight is about to lose out to another fight that is soon about to begin. Garo versus Saitama. Oh my goodness. The setup, the preparation, the evolution of Garo to get to this point. And Saitama and Garo on the water. Um... What are you supposed to be? Oh, oh my God! So listen, I think at this point in time, now is a great time to get back into doing more consistent-ish content for One Punch Man on this main channel because I do read One Punch Man whenever I can, obviously, and One Punch Man has been absolutely stellar. I'd argue last year, one Punch Man 2021 was the best ongoing manga that I have read. Absolutely. All right. And I read Kingdom. Okay. I read Kingdom. And I read One Piece and all these great series. But nah, nah. One Punch Man was the best ongoing series I was reading last year for damn sure. Because some of the material, and I'm sorry, the vast majority, let me get it right. The vast majority of the material. For 2021, One Punch Man was absolutely outstanding. This has been the best arc in the series by far. At this point in time, this arc, I think, is a 9 out of 10. Like, minimum. 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 That's how good this arc has been. And it's about to potentially reach 9.5 status. Because Garo versus Saitama, according to Murata, as far as I understand, is going to go all out like never before. And make things even crazier and more impactful compared to the Lord Boros fight. And when you consider how his arc has improved, I'd argue, from back then to now. Even knowing that back then, it was absolutely stunning. I would personally argue that Murata's arc is so good that you can put it with the best of the best in any seinen. So whether it's Kingdom, whether it's Vinland Saga, Vagabond, or Berserk, okay? Rest in peace, of course. That could be a bold claim, but I'm pretty sure if you ask any One Punch Man manga reader, hey, yo, yo, is the artwork fire as all hell? The answer is going to be a resounding yes. A resounding yes. And when I go back, and look at some of the panels for Boros versus Saitama and how great they were. That moment of the inverted scene of him on the moon looking down on the planet Earth. That scene of the undershot of his spaceship, Boros' spaceship. Outstanding. This is about to be that. And this arc has been phenomenal. Phenomenal with the fights. The first rendition of Saitama versus Monster Lord, Monster King Orochi, which was outstanding. And when you read the redraws, which are very important for One Punch Man, the redraws expand that fight to a whole new level. And it's so well drawn. And it's so dope. It's so cool. Seeing Saitama adapt to the magma. Seeing Orochi's true form. Seeing Orochi use the, the power of the planet, Gaia. Taking literally a power of the core of the planet and using it against Saitama. Saitama's magma squirt gun. All these things happening were absolutely fantastic of course there's other great fights across the spectrum like you have gar versus dark oil shine that's right dark oil shine confirmed because i ain't calling this dude dark shine anymore because that is fake that melanin is absolutely fraudulent however yeah yeah i know i'm still salty about that okay fair enough the fact of the matter is that garo versus dark oil shine was an outstanding fight and Ain't no doubt about that. Bang versus Garo was also a very good fight. Seeing that disciple and master relationship 
kind of come to the forefront, kind of regain Garros' senses as he was transforming into a monster, like full bore. But because of Sifu Bang, in combination with Bomb, th that was really good stuff, and I won't get to it, obviously, in full detail for this video, but that fight was so well executed on so many fronts, and you really have to appreciate Murata and One kind of working things out when it comes to the redraws, making sure that things make a lot of sense for the future when certain things are clearly added up because the story has expanded in so many ways. Even in terms of the webcomic, material like Blast in the manga is not a webcomic, and you have to appreciate the direction that the manga is taking here. But listen, I'm also not going to forget the goddess. I'm not going to forget Tatsumaki. Tatsumaki... In this arc, she was like five or six on like the best females list in a punch man. In this arc, she's jumped to one. She spiked the one. It, it is so impressive. The things that her and Psychos were doing. Unbelievable in terms of the quality, in terms of the impact, in terms of the character, you can argue. There are so many great things in the choreography of the fights and how they're drawn and the angle that they're drawn to, especially for Tatsumaki. Those angles, mwah, delicious in more ways than one. And throughout a lot of these moments across this arc, seeing Murata use the colored panels. For example, the recent stuff with the One Punch Man God and Homeless Emperor, a hey. <laughs> praise to the most high. Praise Yahweh, because it, it, it is, oh, it, it's gonna be so good. I, I'm really hyped, I am really stoked for what's to come, because it is crazy when you think about just how good One Punch Man has been in terms of quality, in terms of artwork, over the past like two, three years, knowing that what's to come is going to probably surpass them all. The things that Gar's already done. I mean, this man's fight with the platinum sperm and flashy flash, making that constellation in the sky with just pure speed was amazing. That was amazing. I mean, this man just literally did a gigantic tile brick chop on the sage centipede from like orbit. It was, it was sexy. It was so good. It was, oh, it was. Oh, yeah. I think, ultimately, of course Saitama wins. I just, <laughs> if Saitama loses. Hell no. But I think Garo's going to learn a very important lesson about what a true hero is through Saitama. Because obviously Garo's never really experienced a true earnest to goodness hero. Or at least, I think maybe like one or two times, but it didn't stick out at all. And then Saitama is going to be that guy. And Goro, during this fight, will probably continue to evolve and get better, but maybe not necessarily continue to monsterfy. Because we saw after Bang did his job and actually retained Goro's humanity, we saw during the Platinum Sperm fight, and even recently against the Sage Centipede, how he was continuing to get better with his martial arts, and he's still able to maintain his humanity because we still have that crack on the left side of his face. So Gar will improve in this fight for sure, without a doubt. And Saitama will utilize, of course, the serious, serious stuff. But ultimately speaking, Saitama will get that dub because Saitama is like a sentient, like nothing can really damage Saitama in earnest. And Garo, compared to Boros, a lot more skillful, a lot more subtle. So I don't see any like crazy, gigantic, Gallic gun waves that go across the cosmos. But there's going to be a lot of speed, a tremendous amount of speed. There's going to be huge shock waves. The things that we saw Psychos do to the planet when she cut the entire ocean and lifted off the planet, we're going to see these boys send ripples across the planet. And we're going to see Garo in these dope ass martial arts poses. And Saitama's going to look like an absolute dork a super nerd with the guy they have tape in the middle of the glasses, but it's going to be effective. Saitama will show Garo what a true hero is, and I think ultimately, Garo's current monstrification will disappear. It'll, it'll break down, it'll crack away. And I think as a result, Garo will be weaker, but because of his newfound mindset on what a hero truly is, understand that somewhere deep in his heart, he's actually kind of a hero. Cause several times he's admitted 
that he wants to be like the apex monster so he can make sure that everyone underneath him that's weaker can treat each other equally and fairly in that weird roundabout way again he's trying to help people and saitama has to set him straight with a few punches to say the least i don't think that saitama can necessarily one shot garo because of his martial arts skill there'll be a lot of deflection a lot of water stream rock smashing fish stuff to deflect garo's self-made god slaying fist as well will probably be shown in full force against saitama we haven't seen him use that or i think it's called the heart explosion fist that bang knew when he was younger so garo is going to utilize all of his martial arts skills but again with saitama there's a good chance that's all going to mean absolutely jack all absolutely nothing and save that God Slayer stuff for the actual G.O.D. who was yoked out, yoked out on the moon. Oh, save it for that, save it for that rendition of Yahweh. Because that version of Yahweh, he's he's mad aggressive. He's so aggressive. He was trying to gut the Tatsu. My, oof, 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 oof. Either way, the One Punch Man drought that we've had on the main channel, because I'm focusing a lot more on the One Piece content, that is going to be officially over. And I do plan on doing more regular one punch man content talking about various things in this arc and why so many things in this arc have just been goddamn amazing have been goddamn amazing and honestly see this tower right here you're gonna need a few of these boys after garo versus saitama is officially over